Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got Europa League group stage action coming up for you. It's Hull City up against Vitesse. Thanks, Derek. Well, with their place in the knockout stage, it's already confirmed. I'm sure they'll want to give the fans top spot in the group. Doesn't always mean you'll get the favourable draw, though. Either way, I can't wait for this one, Derek. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Thank you. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre-backs. But it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Making progress. Electing to cross into the centre. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Timothy Weah. Oh, he's through here. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, after the turn of events last time out, the home side know full well they're guaranteed a safe passage into the knockout stages. Well, everybody will be happy. Players, supporters, lots of prize money up for grabs in the latter stages of this competition. So the owners and the chairman will be happy too. James. Well, can they be creative from here? Clears his lines. Unable to keep the ball that time. High pressing at its best. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from... Great opportunity! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, a second goal for them here. And well, we're sorry for interrupting you there, Alan. Just to clarify for you, the home side finding the net in that game, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Have a look at the club website or contact the ticket office for more information. Yanis Hadji. Not a great challenge, free kick here. 
And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. Short and along the ground. And Renato Sanchez with it now. Timothy Weyer. Hadji. Nicely timed tackle. And room now out on the wing. And the cross is very much on. Sondre Tronstad. He's in here. Still alive. Well, no damage done. Renato Sanchez. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a second goal for the home team. 32 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. The host of a... And he's through here. And a goal! Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Plenty of options. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. 38 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Cheers again, Alan. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Oh, and couldn't convert. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute, and he did well to cut it out. Well, half time it is. And no surprise at all to see that they're currently in line to grab. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. And possession given away. Chance to finish, and a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing, just can't stop him today! Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence, never looked like missing. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Dassa, Sondre Tronstad. And threading it forward. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Hull City facing Crystal Palace. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Usama Tanan. And continues his run. He's in here. Still alive. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, we can see here it's a good finish, but really it's all about the concerted pressure beforehand. Really disciplined, working as a team to force a mistake and regain possession. And he might be through here. 
on his own with only the keeper to beat and still he's missed it well he had one thought power he should have thought composure a goal has been scored in one of the other games Alan McAnally has the news it's a third goal for the home team 60 minutes played 3-3 Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Breaking at pace. And he's waiting in the centre, unaccompanied. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. Just... Far too close to the goalkeeper. Tremendous challenge. And given away. Maximilian Vitek. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And take it away. Dasa. Tomasz Hayek. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Well, foul play, says the referee. <laughs> Eli Dassa. A bit of running room now on the wing. A fine reading of the situation. Hadji. Kleibert. Possession one. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Did his job defensively. And he's in. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, as we see from the replay, it's a classic pullback cross. That sets up the chance, and then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Well, it doesn't get much better than this in the top. Timothy Weyer. can't overcome what you look past you never understand because you don't ask i told my brothers that you can't grow in the dark a lesson that i learned fast had my share of the bats and marks never been afraid to see some questions regarding the match thank you that's all the questions Thanks for joining us, we're now ready for questions. 